I'm not saying good morning, good morning is because it's actually already quarter to four in the afternoon and we are finally leaving the yard or we just basically uh, left the yard I should say we're basically just getting on the road yeah what a day what a day today has been one of those days where nothing seemed to go right and what I mean by that is uh, when I first got there she checked on the uh, paperwork to make sure it's cleared to go across the border and she realizes that uh, for some odd reason the paperwork got sent to the wrong broker so it never even got cleared and the broker I guess she was supposed to send it to they're not even open on the weekend so uh, there was nothing they could do about it so they had to cancel that load and then uh, I was given another load I go down to the uh, co-op there in Steinbach fuel her up filled up the truck and it was one of those trailers that's got a uh, heater unit on it so they obviously have a diesel tank so here's where I'm getting to something is making noises in there it bugs me when something is making noises I'm trying to see what it is <laughs> but yeah so what I was getting to is uh, reduced to head. when I drove over there I guess because of the, all the movements and everything it shook the diesel inside the diesel tank and there's a leak in there I started seeing uh, diesel dripping down from that tank so I said oh that's no good I can't continue driving like that so I went back to the yard and talked to dispatch and uh, they said okay we'll switch that over to a different trailer so they had the uh, local yard dog there he uh, had to uh, take an empty and put it in the dock and uh, we do have a we do have a dock over there so we can uh, switch things around so uh, he quickly switched it around for me it took him yeah, about 20 really minutes bad. which wasn't too bad so then uh, here we are I had to get all the paperwork changed over again to this trailer for the load so uh, that always takes a little bit now we're on our way yeah now we are making our way down to the towards the border finally yeah I left our home already at one o'clock this afternoon and then all this stuff happened so here we are Speed warning. just leaving now just quarter to four but that's the way it goes like I said it was none of my doing pretty much I mean I had nothing to do with any of this holy smokes you're going a little fast don't you think so oh oh well but anyways yeah that's the way it goes sometimes you know sometimes some things get screwed up and then uh, and then uh, you can't go had to give me a different load <laughs> well I already explained all of that I guess so so yeah here we are and it is crazy windy I haven't looked to see how windy it is and uh, miles per hour or whatever but uh, I can feel it's crazy windy out there and now we are making our way down to Lebanon, Indiana. That's right. Yeah, before we were supposed to go to Illinois, and now we got a load going to Indiana. So it's about 200 kilometers more, a little bit over 100 miles further. So that's fantastic. Gives me a little bit more miles, and if I can go from there to Toronto, that'd be fantastic. I would love that. 
and this load don't need to be there till either between 8 and 2200 on the Monday. So I do have some time on it. I really do. I'll probably get there around lunchtime on Monday. I'll drive me a few hours today and then uh, call it a day. You know, we'll have us a full day driving tomorrow. Probably make it up to South Beloit or something like that tomorrow, or maybe Gary, Indiana. Something like that, maybe up to that Petra up there. And then, I don't know, we'll see where we get to. Depending on how far we get tonight, right? That's how far we're going to get tomorrow night. But if I drive too late, I definitely don't want to try and get to Gary, Indiana, because uh, that Petra is going to be packed, because that's going to be Sunday night. Everybody's gonna come into Chicago and want to deliver in Chicago for Monday morning. So that Petro is probably gonna be packed in there, so we might not do that. He might just go up to South Beloit. Call it a day over there. From there it's only a couple of hours anyways to in uh, Lebanon, Indiana. So uh yeah, here we are making our way down there. Luckily it's not snowing on top of this high wind, so that's good. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see if our air conditioning will work over there. Hopefully it will get warm enough to where I can actually test it. Right now I don't need no AC. <laughs> it's literally only 4 degrees outside. I bet you with that windshield it's probably in the minus. Wouldn't surprise me. But anyways, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well guys, this is it. We have now crossed the border. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to North Dakota. Legendary. I don't know what that stands for, but something about legendary. I don't know what's so legendary about this state, but uh, I guess they find it to be legendary. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really feel like driving too much today. I'm kind of tired today. Doing all that running around with trailer switches and all that stuff. So, uh, and plus that's crazy wind is killing my fuel mileage. So I might just go as far as Grand Forks and just call it a day. Continue on tomorrow. I might just do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's already 5 o'clock anyways. It'll probably be about 5, 5 I mean, 6.15. Or something like that. I don't know how many miles it is exactly by... But I might be an hour and a half up to there, so... It would be already 6.30 by the time I get down there anyways. So I might just call it a day and be done with it. But then again, I don't know. We might not. Depends on how we feel when we get there, right? And that's what I say. But yeah, we have officially made it into the United States of America. Oh yeah. I like it. I like it. At least we're getting some miles in. I just wish it wasn't this windy, but uh, what can I say? What can I do about it, right? Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, yeah it was easy crossing again today. No problems at all at the border, so. A few simple questions and that's it. Here we are, already across. There's only one truck ahead of me there at the booth. And he was just fixing to pull out when I was pu uh, pulling up to the booth, so... Yeah, no weight at all. In and out, no problem. Yeah, I got for 74 miles. I'll be there about 6.30 then. Yep. Because I got my crew set at 60 miles an hour, like usual. I just like to run that speed. Yeah, I'm here, I'm working on a weekend again. 
but at least I did have me a couple of good days at home. My wife told me she really had a lot of fun time with me this time when I was home. She really enjoyed it. So that's good. I'm happy for that. Oh yeah. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. We have made it as far as uh, mile marker 38 in Minnesota. Yeah, we actually decided to continue past Grand Forks. Yeah, I am tired though. I, I don't know, I felt like stopping in Grand Forks already, but uh, I decided, you know what, uh, still the sun is going to be up for a good while yet. I said I'm just gonna go get up here somewhere around this area and uh, call it a day over here you know and so we made it here around 8 30 o'clock p.m. and the Sun was just starting to go down you know so that was fantastic perfect timing I think we got us a good parking spot and it feels like the wind has finally died down so uh but yeah i'm trying to get a little different angles here with my uh camera and with my flashlight that i uh, have here and try and get a little bit better quality at night here and hopefully you guys can see me all right but uh yeah i think very soon i'm going to uh try and invest in a different camera maybe that will work better in low light situations People are saying that the GoPro isn't doing very good and I have noticed that too like when we did the uh, night show recording there from the uh, concerts and stuff like that it was terrible the quality at night I'm not impressed at all so uh, for daytime they do a pretty good job but at night it seems to suck or if you're in low light situations like uh, inside the truck show and stuff like that uh somebody was mentioning on my channel there that they could definitely tell it was being recorded by a gopro but uh hey i thought it came out all right but uh, i guess somebody said it wasn't the best quality but anyways uh yeah as i said we are done i'm gonna get ready to go to bed here very soon so uh I hope to see you guys again on my channel tomorrow, so stick around and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye for now. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.